It's been a while. As you can see, it's overcast. It's been raining here all the time. Um, I'm sick of fixing tarps. I'm sick of all that stuff. But uh, right on cue, the tarps lift up. I like to say, hey, what's up? Hey, Bodie. How you doing, buddy? Hey, folks. It's been a while since I made a video. Last one I made was, uh, I think, my hunting video with my uh, with, with 10 point I got. But anyways, uh, it's been raining. As you can see, it's still overcast. And uh, I'm tired of the, of the weather. Haven't been able to get outside much to do much for you all. So uh, I was on a uh, Facebook forum, wood stove burning forum, firewood processing, something along those, those lines because I'm a... I'm a firewood and wood stove nerd and uh, gave me a couple of ideas for videos. Um, one is how long should you let your wood dry? Now it does depend on the species, but they got down into talking about oaks, which is what I burn primarily just because that's what I get dropped off for me, which is really nice. When I didn't have it dropped off, I would burn ash. I would burn pretty much anything except for poplar and pine. I, not that those are, are bad to burn. You, you can burn pine as long as it's dry. You can burn poplar as it's dry. I just don't like them. I don't have to burn those, so I don't. Anyways, they were talking about uh, oak, how long should you let firewood dry, this and that, and they said, you know, who lets their firewood dry for two years? Who lets it dry for one year? Who cuts it that summer and burns that fall? And there was a big back, you know how they go. You know, everybody, everybody has an opinion and everybody's right. So, of course, I have an opinion. I didn't say anything. I'm like, it doesn't matter. If I say something, it's just another drop in the bucket. No one cares about my opinion. But I do want to do a video on it just to see what the results are. Why not? Now, you can might find different results. This is my wood pile. Um, what I do is I will, <clears throat> excuse me, stack my wood like you see here, behind me here. And I started down there. Now, that stuff down the end is really really dry it's, it's been stacked for a while it was just stacked somewhere else but then midway here was about middle of the summer i had a high school kid help me and i know because these blue these blue ones are right down there those blue pallets and then on down the very end is just like recently i stacked so we'll um well i shouldn't say recently i had it cut but i stacked it up recently so uh my woodshed i know is two years old and that's mostly oak, and we'll try to find a piece of red oak so we can compare apples to apples. Um, if I can't find red oak, I'll definitely do white oak. It's, it's, it'll be an oak species of some sort. Um, and then we'll get a piece from the middle of the summer, or earlier in the summer. I'm pretty sure it was June, maybe a minute or sooner than that. And we'll test it out. And then we'll test a piece out further down that was a little later in the summer. So we'll get a reading on all of them, okay? And uh, my thoughts are the two-year-old stuff is going to be pretty dry because I've been burning it. And as you can see in my flue up there, I just added wood right before I put this video in and let it burn a little bit and choked it down. And do you see any smoke coming out of that chimney? Not a bit. So that's what you want to see. If you got smoke coming out of your chimney all the time, not good. But that's for another video. So let's walk down here. And uh, uh, let me take you with me because... I know somebody's gonna say, you got that wood from somewhere else. So let's just go down here and get a piece of wood, shall we? So again, this is all stuff that's been cut and dry for a while, but just for continuity and all that good stuff, we'll get it right out of the wood pile here. You can, let's, let's look for a good piece here. It's mostly white oak, so it might, might be stuck with just white oak. Let's get up in here and get her a piece. Uh, and we'll try to get the same sorry don't mind me I'm looking for a good piece here that we can split fairly easily I'll even get one from the center so it doesn't look agile that's almost cheating god sorry <laughs> let's grab that one I'm not sure what it is completely it looks like white oak yeah, let's take it up here. Now I'll try to get the same shape and size. And then we'll go back up here. And I've got my moisture meter. I might cut some of this out because who wants to watch me walk around grabbing pieces of wood? Okay. Spin around. So there's the one from the woodshed. Alright. Simple, right? Let's go up here and find one that fairly similar the 
which is about the middle. Let me let me find one. Try to find one that's somewhat in the same shape. If anyone says that that one might be, might be decent. That's red oak though. It's all gonna be red oak. I can't do anything about that, I don't think. I'm gonna get, I'll even get one from up top here. But that was middle of summer there. Now let's walk down to the end. And I'll even... You can even see the stark difference in color. I mean, bam, I just stacked this stuff. And instantly different color. But I will get the stuff that was covered up. Um, well, this was covered until a day ago. You can see my tarp blew off, so... Let's find one that's similar. I just I just stacked down there on the one so oh let me see yeah this here looks good enough right on top there so let's get down here all right so this is turning into a longer video than I thought but that's okay so there you have it there's two year early summer end of summer let's get cracking I'm gonna split them in the middle and can you see my little stump there yeah I'll split them in the middle and I'll take a reading I'm not sure you'll be able to get to see the reading on the uh, camera the reason I'm splitting them is because the outside is hey the outside is gonna be dry I mean it's the I mean it might not be dry dry but it'll be drier than the center and that's really the most of what you're burning is in the center so I would really like to go there and find a piece of red oak in that woodshed but I know 99% of that is is uh white oak because that giant white oak i cut down a couple years ago so and i know most of this is red oak because that's what they give me when they drop off trees so it'll be a little different but uh it'll be okay where we sit down for time six minutes all right let's get the meter on there you see it's it's there so let's do the uh let's do the end of summer here one and uh let's make sure you can still see Put my glove on now my finger won't react to the camera hey gopro can we get a camera that reacts to gloves that'd be great thanks um let me go up here and split this bad boy well, it feels fairly light you gonna stay there for me no <laughs> what a prick Should have planned this a little better. There we go. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. That's all punky. I wondered why I felt light. It was all punky. But still, you can see that's what 30 something. Mm -hmm. That ain't dry. Let's go figure another piece. It's not punky. It's not awfully. It's not bad, but it's bad enough. I'll right, we'll try this one. You saw me get up in the same spot, right? There we go. Split side. Just to show you the difference in. So that's 14 on the outside. You think that looks good, right? Then you go in the center and you got 26. That's actually, it's not awful. But it ain't good either. So that's 26. Again, outside 13. Inside, I'm getting 26, 27. So that's the end of the year. Let's try early summer. All right. I should have put the more level area, huh? There we go. Okay, early summer. Okay, 26. You can all see that? I wonder if I can hold that. Yeah, I can, good. 
So there's 26.4. Okay, that's middle of summer. Still too high in my in my opinion. Now we'll get the uh, one that's been in the woodshed for two years. Or at least it's been drying for two years. <laughs> the dust flew. Okay. Oh, it didn't hold. There, it's not holding. There we go. 12.3. I'll do it again. On the outside is 10, 11. And then the inside, I got to push really hard to get 12. 11, 12. Okay, so in my opinion, and in my moisture meter's opinion, two-year-old is pretty dry. Um, everybody says 20% or less, that's definitely 20%, and that's good. I've been uh, putting wood in my stove, like I said, and uh, let it burn for about 10-15 minutes, damper it back. It'll last me for hours, so I expect to use a lot less wood this far, this season. But um, just a little video there. We did beginning of summer. Any of that wood that was cut over the summer wasn't less than 20% 20, 20 moisture. None of it was. None of it. Um, can you get away with it? For a little while, I'm sure. Um, especially if you have some dry wood. Now, there's a, there's a whole debate here, but this whole video, I, I could go into a whole strand of different variables and things like that. The purpose of this video was to see which was drier. Two-year-old stuff, which is how I let mine dry when I can. Um, at the very least, with oak, at least a year. At least a year, in my opinion. But the point of this video was to see what, because to compare two-year-old stuff, beginning of summer, end of summer, for burning this winter. So I think the results speak for themselves. The two-year-old stuff was about 12% moisture, and we're shooting for less than 20%, right? So that was 12%. Middle of summer was over 20, end of summer was over 20, over 20. So that's all I got for you. Let the debate continue because it will for centuries after I'm dead. People will still complain com and argue about it, but uh, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.